So, as you can see here, we have the basis three board and this is the ADC input header here. Um, I've basically to get one volt, uh, a one volt differential, I have uh, created this circuitry over here, um, and uh, did a little math. I found that between the uh, positive and negative rail over here, there was 3.32 um, one volts, and so I did a little math to find out what I had to do to to just get one volt out of that. So I built a uh, voltage divider here out of two variable 10k resistors and uh, did the math pretty easy on my calculator here um, let's see it was just the single focus uh, right there so I um, first put in 3.321 right there towards the bottom and uh, then I divided, I took one volt, which is what I wanted, and divided it by that to get uh, 30 point, whoop, calculator likes to only stay on very long, if, not very long if you're using it. So it, um, I took and Uh, I got 30% basically out of the one resistor. Uh, I'll need it'll make to make a one volt differential. I'll need uh, one resistor to be um, about 70% and the other one to be about 30% in order to get that differential. So I just took these two resistors right here and I dialed the um, I dialed one of them into about 700k ohm or sorry um, 7k ohm that would be this back one here and then the uh, front one here um, uh, I have adjusted to be um, starting the, to have the uh, starting point right at about 3k uh, ohm so if you watch you'll see this is the actual project this is what happens so 255 is my max number there I've um, I'll, I'll explain in the code but this was aliasing before not clearly shifting uh, and I put in some code to slow that down um, and uh, so now you can distinguish between a four and a five and not some weird combination anyways this is how it works so when you adjust uh, right here so right now we would be if it's reading 255 this means that our our differential pair is I uh, believe closest to each other meaning they're almost the same value oh no no it's the opposite so they're the furthest away from each other so the difference between the two wires is one volt so to change that you turn this potentiometer with a little screwdriver as you can see here and so we'll start turning it here and you'll watch the watch this number because it's an 8 bit 80 8 bit ADC you can watch the number drop from 255 which is 2 to the 8th down to and there's also a bar graph here created with the LEDs uh, to kind of show you where you're at. And it'll go all the way down to zero or one. And that's how she works. That was that was the plan right there. Um, initially, this was going to be used with a water flow meter which would have um, created the with some additional circuitry to the meter depending on what style of meter it was and what kind of signal it gave off this was originally um, going to be hooked up to that system and the um, flow of water 
would have created a one volt differential that would have went into here and then we could have used that that input somehow in the uh, in the CAD if you will code or CAD that we program into the FPGA in order to output something um, something useful like uh, flow rate or um, usage per day um, something like that so right now you could basically think of it as zero water flowing and now we have maximum water flowing up here <laughs> all right 